the very orange Hoover Junior 1346A is done. All of the horror wiring has been resolved. The absolute filth that encrusted this is gone and it seems to work quite well now. So let's take you on a closer guided tour, show you what it looks like now. Yes, hello, new vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? This is more popular than I thought. I'll be honest, these, this condition, Hoover Junior, never really fully interests me because there's so many original ones out there. Why would you bother, really? I mean, the owner likes this because he loves the colour. Fair point, can't argue with that. And he wants it just to use. He owns the two Dirt Search Juniors as well. I imagine they won't see much use because they're more rare, more valuable. This you could chuck around all day without care, on a whim. I, I can understand that, I'll be honest. Makes sense to me. <laughs> there is barely an original part on here, the armature is a pattern armature. This front plate, I don't think, is genuine. There is no stamping. Normally there's a H dash part number stamp. This doesn't have that. So I think it's got a pattern lens. The bumper is pattern. The bag is pattern. The cable is pattern. The cord grip is pattern. However, the hood, chassis and you know these all the the, the the wheels are pattern the brush strips are pattern um the belts original there you go everything else is original but has been painted although what i have done is cleaned up all of the rubbery bits because paint on rubbery bits annoys me something chronic it's a lot less creaky now because the rubber grommet that does the handle isn't covered in flipping paint. So, yes, it is, as we say in the community, a completely Bojack machine. But it's a machine nonetheless, and somebody does love it. I know how they feel. So, I guess we had better stick a bag in it so we do not I feel odd saying this, so we don't get this bag dirty. The bag is actually pretty terrible there are so many missing teeth on the zip it's obviously a very poor quality pattern bag but the zip does work so <laughs> and it matches the machine if you go for the orange theme so we shall grab the grab the bag holder by the horns stick a bag on it which, as I'm sure you're all well trained in now, is quite simple, so I won't talk you through it. If you don't get the fact that you've got to chop the top off and stick it on, then, well, look back on pretty much every other Hoover Junior video that myself, Mr. Hoover Lux, other collectors probably do it, have done, and you'll get the gist of it. I think the bag fill tube and bellows are original. I couldn't spot, normally the bellows, pattern bellows have a, you know, the maker's name stamped in them. This doesn't. And on the bag fill tube, you can see the very vague remains, oh, that was lucky, of the, you know, the foam innards that these had originally to dampen the sound of the grit pouring into the bag from the carpets. Not something that we have to worry about here because we don't have particularly gritty carpets. So we shall take our pattern cable, because it's black. We've never had a black cable on, but it's, it's, it's a good cable. It does the job, electricity flows, you don't die when you touch it. What more do you want? And we'll plug it in and turn it on.
relatively, but you probably haven't failed to notice the very metallic -y, tinny, rattly sound it's given, and I think the brush roll might be ever so slightly bent on it, because mechanically it is fine. I put my admittedly little reputation on the line and say that this is done as well as every other Hoover Junior I've ever done. Most of it is nicely sealed in, there's you know nothing wrong with that at all because if I turn it on now you can hear it however if we take off the hood pop the belt off There's no noise, is there? Come on, stop turning, so I'll put the belt back on. Now I have put different end caps on this, has perfectly good bearings, brush roll when it's out of the machine doesn't, you know, it, it's smooth running, silky smooth, so I think that either the hood is slightly warped, the brush roll is slightly warped, but I'll be honest, when it is actually running, you, you just can't tell, it, it's fine. Certainly as you know, uh, not to be given a toss about daily. It's fine, they're not a deeper pile of carpet, we'll have a play with that in a second. I don't think you'll be able to tell. Let's do the bounce test. With some short grain noise. Wow, that was a <laughs> that was a failure. I haven't used this yet on these. In fact, chronologically, if you follow my channel, the first time I used these, this vice was on the Tinko video, the pure one, which coped with it fine. This didn't. It, it it's too heavy to go through the fan. Oh, there we go. For those of you who think I'm a screwdriver warrior, I think I have just found the thing that kills these machines, and it is basmati rice. Whoops, well, we've learned a lesson. I shall it, it'll probably get it all up, but yeah, this, yeah, no. Whoops, lesson learned, so I'm not too humble to admit that, oh, sorry, I am humble enough to admit that, that was a silly idea, and the dirty fan cleaners, we shan't do that again, because that just rattled around the bus roll and spat itself straight back out. Whoops. Even this is struggling with it. Oh, what have I done? I'm going to be stuck with it forever. Let's try this. Must have some machines somewhere they can clean up a little bit of rice. Hang on. Right, let us try straight suction from my bodily great hose knackered Electrolux 345 automatic. Ah, oh, there we go. That's getting it now. Just. So they have the best suction though, because the bag's quite full. Cool. So we shall forgive it that. This is bag vacuum being the evil of mankind according to some. Utter fat person. <laughs> Uh, 
There we go, the hose came off, but the hose is utterly, utterly trashed. But that picked it up. Right, let's get back to the subject matter in question. Talking of the subject matter in question, though, I have just thought of something. This is a 1970s light. Obviously, you imagine this was original and nice. This is a 1970s lineup. Because back in the day, Electrolux made the better cylinders. Hoover would have had the freedom at this point in the 70s. Freedom, a bit of constellation floating around, a celebrity. Don't think the Conquest was still around in the 70s. Could be wrong. But the consensus has always been the Electrolux made the better cylinders. Hoover made the better right, right. So who knows? There possibly were households in the 70s that had both. So obviously back then, the uprights were no good for hard floor cleaning because even the tools were a bit terrible. And the cylinders were no good unless you happened to be really partial and have one with an electronic takeoff, which they did have back then. Or an air driven turbo brush, I think some did. These would be useless for deep pile or large expanses of carpet. So yeah, we, we, we do actually have a 1970s pairing, but we're not interested in that on this video we are interested in this and it is done it works a lot better than it did unless you try and pick up rice don't do that bedroom testers for you God, we don't know what we're doing do we useless people but this is done and ready to go back to the owner now all of his projects are complete i can tick this one off the job list and say thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon with something else and this can go home. Bye bye.